you have been given a super, super computer. Do you agree with me that this is the most sophisticated gadget on the planet? Not the iPhone, the eye. <laughs> People have not read the user's manual for the most complex machine on the planet. Everything is a problem. Tell me one thing that human beings are not suffering. If they're poor, they suffer their poverty. You make them rich, they suffer the taxes. If they're not educated, they suffer that. Put them to school, lot of suffering. Not married, they suffer that. Get them married. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't say a thing, okay? <laughs> no children, some people suffer that. Children, daily suffering. So you seem to be suffering every aspect of life. Life is not suffering, nor is it a joy. It's simply there, it's a phenomena. If you ride it, it feels fantastic. If you're crushed by it, it feels terrible. So are you riding the wave of life or are you being crushed by it? That's all the question is. So what they're suffering is their own psychological process. One's own thought and emotion has become such a huge suffering. How you think and feel? How you think and feel, should it not be determined by you? What happens in the world may not happen the way you want it, but at least what happens within you must happen your way, isn't it? So if what happens within you is not happening your way, fundamentally we've not figured what is the nature of our life. Without understanding even the fundamental of our existence, we are trying to live. Your well-being will never come from outside. From outside, you can create comfort, you can create convenience, but you cannot create well-being. Well-being can only happen from within you because human experience is created from within. Cerebral activity in the process of evolution, it is new. It is a new happening, this… this big brain. When I say new, just a few million years, but in the evolutionary scale, it is new. So we have an intelligence for which we don't have a stable enough platform because your own intelligence is turned against you. You can call it by many exotic names. You can call it misery, you can call it depression, you can call it by variety of diagnosis. But essentially, your intelligence has turned against you. Just imagine hundred years ago how people lived in this same place and how you're living. Is there any damn thing to complain about in comparison? Outside will never happen a hundred percent the way you want it, but at least what happens within you must happen the way you want it. If right now what happened within you was happening the way you want it, would you keep yourself at the highest level of pleasantness or no? No magic, just engineering.